Hi friends, welcome to BSNL JE Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss applied physics, atomic structure, atomic structure. It is uh, belongs to chemistry. Okay, atomic structure. First of all, fundamental particles of atoms, fundamental particles of atom, and their characteristics, and their characteristics. The fundamental particles of atoms are nothing but electron, proton and neutron. Okay, electron, proton and neutron. Coming to the particle electron, electron symbol is E. Electron symbol is E. And the mass of electron is 9.109 into 10 power minus 31. Mass of electron is 9.101 into 10 power minus 31. And the charge of this electron is 1.602 into 10 power minus 19. And charge of electron is 1.602 into 10 power minus 19. And this relative charge of electron is minus, that is negative. That means electron is negatively charged particle very very important electron is negatively charged particle that's why we kept minus for this minus for this charge okay so electron symbol of electron is e and the mass of electron is 9.101 into 10 power minus 31 and charge of electron is uh, minus 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 minus means electron is a negatively charged particle and next particle of atom is proton proton it is the symbol is proton symbol is p proton symbol is p and the mass of this proton is 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 mass of proton is 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 and the charge of this proton is also same as electron but it is a positively charged particle but proton is a positively charged particle that is plus 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 that means uh, charge of electron and proton is same but electron is a negatively charged particle and proton is a positively charged particle and the charge of this proton is 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 that is relative charge is positive that is a proton is a positively charged particle electron is a negatively charged particle and the next third particle of this atom is neutron neutron it is denoted by the symbol n small n and the mass of this electron is uh, 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 and that means uh, mass of uh, proton and neutron is same mass of proton and neutron is same coming to the charge of this neutron it is a zero charge that means uh, neutron has no charge no charge okay no charge okay once again electron is a Negative, negatively charged particle and proton is a positively charged particle and neutron is a no charge neutron has no charge okay and coming to the structure of atom coming to the structure of atom there are mainly three models are developed by three scientists uh, first one is Thomson model second one is Rutherford model and third one is Bohr's model third one is Bohr's model coming to the first model Thomson's model according to this Thomson's atoms can be considered as large positively charged body with a number of small negatively charged electrons scattering through it scattering through it that means uh, the small negatively charged electrons uh, the small negatively charged electrons small uh, negatively charged electrons scattering through a large positively charged body that is large 
positively charged body this small electron scattering through the this past, uh, large positive charged body once again according to the thomson model uh, atoms has large positively charged body and small electrons are scattering through it scattering through it this model is also called as plum plum flooding model this model is also called as plum flooding model plum flooding model that means uh, electrons represents the plum electrons are uh, represents the plum in the flooding of in the flooding made up of uh, positively charged positively charged and also this model is also called as a water milan model water milan model it is a water uh, let it is a water milan model all the in this water milan all the juice of pulp is uh, uh, denoted as positively charged this means all this uh, uh, plum is uh, like a that is positively charged and the seeds here some of the seeds uh, these seeds are called uh, uh, represents that means these seeds are represents electrons electrons okay this total pulp is uh, positively charged body and the seeds are represents electrons okay so according to the thomson thomson's model uh, atoms can be considered as large positively charged body with uh, small negatively charged electrons scattering through it and uh, is, this model is also called as plum flooding model that means uh, electrons uh, represents plums and the positively charged particle body represents the total flooding okay total flooding is a positive charge and it is also denote it is also called as water milan model in this water milan all the pulp of juice are uh, represents uh, positively charged and the seeds in the water milan represents electrons seeds in the water milan represents electrons okay this is the thomson model and the next model is rutherford model or rutherford experiment rutherford experiment this uh, rutherford experiment is mainly based on alpha ray scattering alpha ray scattering okay and according to this uh, rutherford experiment here the atoms contain some dense and positively charged region some positively charged region this uh, positively charged radian that is uh, positively charged radian that is located at the center of the atom located at the center of the atom and this is called as nucleus this is called as nucleus okay atoms contained contains some dense and positively charged region at the uh, positively charged re region at the center of the atom that is called as nucleus that is called as nucleus and uh, all the positive charge of the atom all the positive charge of the atom and most of its masses all the positively charged atom and most of its uh, art most of its masses was contained in the nucleus was contained in the nucleus the rest of the atom must be empty that means the, the rest of the atom this is the rest of the atom this are uh, the rest of the atom is must to be a empty space which contains a small and negatively charged particles which contains small negatively charged particles that are nothing but uh, those are nothing but uh, electrons negatively charged particles electrons okay once again according to the rutherford experiment or uh, rutherford model atom contains some dense and positively charged region that is positively charged region uh, at the center of the atom that is uh, called as nucleus all the masses are positively charged particles and their masses contains uh, cont uh, contained in the nucleus and uh, the remaining space of this atom see, must be empty uh, must be empty space which have contains uh, some uh, smaller and negatively charged electrons smaller and negatively charged electrons okay this is the rutherford model this is the rutherford model and next model is uh, developed by bohr 
this is called as bohr's model according to this bohr electrons moves in a definite circular path electrons moves in a circular path moves in a circular path around the nucleus it is a nucleus these electrons are uh, uh, electrons are moves moves in a circular path moves in a circular path around the nucleus okay these paths are called orbits this uh, this uh, paths are called orbits okay as long this electron uh, moves through this orbit then the energy of this uh, energy of this electron does not change the energy of uh, this electron does not change as long as the electron is in the given orbit that energy does not change uh, there are number of pass uh, number of orbits in the atom if there are number of uh, orbits in the atoms if any electron can change if any electron can change its state by absorbing or releasing the energy that means uh, it is a uh, take it as initial state it is a final state then whenever it is comes to initial state to final state or final state final state to initial state uh, the orbit uh, the electron can change their orbit by absorbing or releasing the energy that is e equal to ef minus ei that is ef is nothing but final state of energy and ei is nothing but initial state of energy that means uh, energy can uh, energy by absorbing the energy or releasing the energy the electron can change its state from one state to another state okay one state to another state and uh, the angular moment of an electron of mass m and moving in a circular orbit with radius of r and velocity v is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi that is uh, if uh, if electron have mass m and uh, with the radius uh, circular radius r and with velocity v it moves that means uh, mv r mass velocity into radius mv r equal to nh by 2 pi mv r equal to nh by 2 pi here n is nothing but uh, uh, principal quantum number n is nothing but principal quantum number h is nothing but planck's constant planck's constant okay and the energy of the orbit en equal to minus rh into 1 by n square 1 by n square here rh is nothing but uh, m z square e power 4 by 8 h square e not square okay mvr equal to nh by 2 pi okay and next coming to the next one next heisenberg's uncertainty principle heisenberg uncertainty principle according to this heisenberg uncertainty principle it is not possible to say it is not possible to simultaneously measure both position and momentum of an electron accurately that means we cannot measure both position and momentum at a time with accurate accurate that is uh, delta x and delta p is greater than or h by h by 4 pi h by 4 pi here uh, delta x and delta p are the uncertainties in the measurement of position and momentum respectively and momentum respectively that means if we want to measure the position uh, uh, position and uh, momentum at a time it is not possible is not possible we cannot measure both position and uh, momentum at a time is at a time with accurate is not possible this is the heisenberg uncertainty principle heisenberg uncertainty principle okay friends next video we will discuss uh, remaining topics of uh, physics okay